Um, I have a friend here who believes Obama has led a pretty good presidency so far, so I thought what better... Why are you friends? <laughs> 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 I thought what better way to refute this belief than allow you to do it. Oh, well, okay, where do we start? Let's see. How much... <laughs> see, this is fun. I like ripping on the left. Uh, so, the, so, so, Barack Obama has been terrible from beginning to end. He's divided us along racial and sexual lines. Uh, he's divided us uh, along every line he could find. He came in with a great promise. Because the expectations for Obama were so high and he fell so short, he's really divided America. I think he's trolled the Republican Party into irrelevance, and I think that he's taken his own party to Bernie Sanders' land. And I think that, you know, on, uh, he's done that through policy, but he's mostly done that through his style. When, when Obama was elected, there was this great hope that he was finally going to help conciliate the, the greatest conflict that has ever torn the nation, the racial conflict, right? And instead he came in on the basis and governed on the basis that if you oppose him, it must be because you are black. And if there are imbalances in terms of equality, that is inequity, right? Inequality equals inequity. So if more black people than white people are going to prison proportionately, that must be because people are racist. It can't just be because too many black people are committing crimes. Right, so the, the, he, by doing that, he's divided people along these lines, uh, and, it's, and it's, you can see it in the Gallup polls. I mean, people, people now feel that the racial conflict in the country is at, is at heights it hasn't been for decades. Uh, that, that, to me, is the most damaging thing, is that he's reverted American politics to a form of tribalism that I find very scary. Uh, in terms of his actual policy, Obamacare is destroying the medical system. It's raising premiums for people who are in the system. It's going to end up with an actual... With an actual form of care that, is, that, that really is, is just redistribution of care, uh, which is going to hurt the people who are youngest and the people who are oldest. And there's a reason Ezekiel Emanuel, who designed his Obamacare program, says he wants to die at 75. Uh, the, the, they're going to end up redistributing health care, and they're going to end up restricting it. Uh, as far as the economy, his economic policies, if you lo look at American history, every time there's a big bust, there is then a, a similarly sized boom, unless you have a massive government policy like FDR and Hoover, or unless you have a massive government policy like, uh, like Barack Obama. So on, on domestic policy, he's been terrible. Uh, he's, he's, you know, pushed, he, he's pushed government into realms it never was before and created conflicts that weren't there before. So, for example, on the gay marriage issue, my position on this has been that the government should get completely out of the business of marriage. I, don't, I think the government sucks at everything and they suck at that too. So, <clears throat> what Obama has done instead is he said, okay, let's enshrine same-sex marriage for the purpose of cramming down on religious institutions the idea that they must participate in something they believe is sinful. That's not live and let live. That's live like me or I won't let you live. Right? And, that's, and that's, that's dastardly stuff. You know, when it comes to his foreign policy, his foreign policy is the worst of all of his, his policies. Uh, he set the world, I mean, it's, it's cliche at this point, but he has. He set the world on fire. His Libya war was a disaster and handed guns to terrorists. You know, he talks about handing guns to ISIS. He actually did that in Libya. Uh, he's, he talks about, you know, Syria is, is a disaster area. The, the attempt to make Iran into a regional power with the assumption that they're going to moderate themselves is utter asininity. It's just foolishness on, on, an, on an unbelievable scale. Uh, his... his handing over of, of power to Russia in Crimea uh, is, going to, is going to end with NATO possibly breaking apart because Russia is just going to continue encroaching on outlying portions of, of the NATO alliance uh, and, and, and basically say, fine, come and get me, coppers. Uh, and, uh, and he's allowed the Chinese to expand their, their realm of influence into the South China Sea. And you're going to see increasing Chinese uh, intransigence and aggressiveness because China demographically uh, is, m m this happens with every country where you have a lot more males than females. China demographically, there are 125 males for every 100 females. When you have a lot of excess young men, there's only one thing you can do with those people and that's put them in the army. And that's, and that's basically what China has done. So they're going to get very aggressive on the world stage very quickly. So every aspect, Latin America of course has become a disaster too, every aspect of this presidency has been terrible, but when you have the media on your side, and when you're a likable fellow, and, and he is likable on camera, then those are assets that matter. And this is why when people say, you know, how could we end up with a reality TV show host like Trump running, he's the, only, he's the second one to do it. Right? Obama's the first. You, you, don't do, you don't do interviews with the lady who sat in a bathtub full of Cheerios and Fruit Loops and then tell me about how terrible it is that Donald Trump used to be on The Apprentice.